everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for stopping by. My name's Cody. First of all, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who has watched and shared and liked uh, last week's video. Uh, that was a really fun one to make for you. And of course we built the igloo here. And uh, if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend going back last week and checking that video out. It was a lot of fun and seems like a lot of people really enjoyed it. So one thing that I found really interesting about uh, last week's video was seeing um, where a lot of the views and the comments were coming from, you know, it's uh, uh, far away as uh, Ireland and even Hawaii and all over the states and stuff like that too. So it's uh, really neat to see that our little slice up here in Canada is getting, uh, getting some attention from all around the world. So uh, yeah, if you'd like to leave a comment about where you're from or where you're watching, um, I'd love to see it. It's always neat to see kind of the reach of the videos and those sorts of things. So feel free to to leave that in the comments. So today uh, I won't be building anything out of ice, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, I do have more ice setting as we speak, and I hope to build a few more things. We got some nice uh, cold weather for that, so that'll be great. But first thing on the list for today is I've got to hook up uh, an attachment to the tractor so we can move from snow more easily. So I've got the tractor started. I'm gonna go hop in there and uh, get that all switched around here for you. So uh, yeah, come on, let's go do it. There we go. So uh, what you saw me do there was unhook our rototiller and put on the back snow blade uh, attachment for the tractor there. And that just makes plowing the driveways a lot easier than having to use a bucket. Um, Cause now we can just drag the snow as opposed to having to push it. But um, anyway, got the snow all moved out of the walkways to the off leaf parks there. And uh, that's always a good job to get uh, off the list there for sure. So pretty straightforward stuff, but that's all done for the day. and. Uh, 
I think, fingers crossed, that's all I have to do outside today. It's not terrible. I think we're minus 30. So, uh, not, not that bad. But uh, now I'm moving back into uh, inside to do some work. So, uh, yeah, let's go uh, warm up here. Okay, hey everybody, we're back inside now. Uh, I'm gonna warm up a little bit, so I'm back in the grill room. Uh, don't have too much to do in here today. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on the propagation cuts that we took uh, the last few weeks here. So we did pothos and um, a philodendron or two there. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to show you the root progress and where they're coming there. So I'll take you over there now and uh, we'll have a quick look. All right, here you can see our mother plants on the top shelf there and directly below it are the cuttings that we've taken. So let's get a close look here at the, uh, the roots. Okay, hey, so we've got our cuttings here, and we'll take this jar here, and I'll just give you a little bit of a look here. Um, so if you followed along the videos the last couple of weeks, you saw us take the cuttings here and just place them in water. So I wanted to show you a quick update on how they're doing. Let's see if it'll focus in on there or not. Oh, there we go. Um, it's a little bit dark, but you can kind of see that long white one right there, that is a new root. I'm going to take them out of the water here and just uh, show you. So let me put the jar down here. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, sorry it's a little bit dark, but um, you can see, let's get that guy in focus. This here <clears throat> is a brand new root. So it shot out of that node like we said it would when we were doing the cuttings and it has formed a new root. They, they all have roots. Uh, like here's one there, there's some on the back side, there's a bunch here. You can see that or not. But um, yeah, so that was just one little thing that I was doing in here while the snow was flying to make sure that I don't have to be uh, constantly working outside. You can't do a lot of uh, propagating this time of year outside here, so <clears throat> I like to do a little bit of the indoor propagation. And with these pothos, uh, I think we took about 180 cuttings if memory serves, so that'll make for quite a few plants. There's still a ways to go yet from uh, maturity. You can see uh, the root there. The leaf still looks to be in really good shape. I believe this is the golden pothos. They seem to be the first to root these golden pothos. Um, everyone else, like all the other varieties, are doing quite well, but the golden pothos is by far the fastest to, to root here. So. Anyway, I'm going to put these back in the water and give them another couple of weeks. But um, it's been about, I guess, four weeks if memory serves. And uh, I do a weekly water change on them as well. It's not that exciting, so I don't really film it. But basically, I just take uh, the jar, flush out the old water, rinse these, the bottom area here with some water, <clears throat> fill the jar back up with uh, water, and set them back in there. And I do that about once a week, and that seems to help uh, reduce a lot of the rot. And you can kind of see, like, um, we'll do a quick cut here, <laughs> but uh, okay, all right, cool transition. But <clears throat> there, that little node, it'll get into focus, that's a new root growth. At the end of this one, I don't know if you can tell or not, it's kind of like all jelly and squidgy. That is rot. So that's not good, but it's also not bad. It's healthy enough to be putting out a new root. And I'm not going to fiddle with that too much. I'll just let it die back to where it wants to die back naturally. And you can see the leaves on this one still doing very well. So he doesn't seem to be too hurt for that. But um, yeah, I just thought I would give you guys a quick update on our pothos propagation project here. So I've got a few more things to get working on. So I'm going to get going down there and uh, yeah, let's go on to the next job. There we go. I think I'm in frame. Anywho, just a quick show here. The, the second one that we did for propagation, or the third, or whatever it was that happened to be uh, propagated, were the mini Monstera. I won't say their botanical name, because I can't. Um, anywho, uh, so the, the, <laughs> the, the next one that I propagated was the mini Monstera, and that was a few weeks after the pothos. So these ones have had less time in the water, but I'm just going to pull them out here and give you a quick show. Oh, that one fell. That's okay. But, oh, here's a good example. These ones were cut quite a bit after the fact, and I don't know if you can see if it'll show up or not, but those two little white points that you see there are brand new root growth. So, from something as innocuous as 
an immature leaf on this variety of plant and just a section of stem with a little note at the bottom there. You can see there's hardly any rot on the terminal end there but uh, two very nice little root buds coming up. So, um, like I say, if I can propagate plants, anybody can propagate plants. It's super easy to do. It's a really fun winter project when it's, you know, minus 40 or whatever outside. And uh, it's just been really fun to watch all these roots uh, grow and develop. Um, yeah, so I'll keep working here the next, uh, the next job. Okay, before I start the next project, I guess I'll introduce it. So, over the Christmas holidays, I made a few, um, cutting boards for my wife and mother-in-law and uh, my sister and since then I've had a few people request uh, them so I've decided I'm going to put through a few more through the wood shop that I've uh, uh, assembled and anyway this is the, uh, the finished product here so uh, I don't know if you can see that very well or not but um, yeah that's what I made so the, the next step of the, uh, the day is just going to be making a few more of these guys so uh, very simple just a couple of uh, hardwoods put together here, but um, anyway, that's what I'm going to be working on uh, next year right away. So yeah, let's go down to the wood shop. Outside here, I completely forgot to film it, but I made uh, these two little ice uh, towers um, with the remaining blocks that I had left over from the igloo build, which is there. And um, yeah, I think they turned out pretty nice all together. Um, it's going to be cold here for quite some time, so I figure, you know, let's uh, let's at least enjoy it and make it as pretty as we can. So I'm going to try to build as many of these little towers as I can in this area, just see what I can do and. Uh, Hopefully it turns out quite nice, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, uh, hey everybody, I don't know if you can see me there or not. It's getting pretty dark out here, but uh, I think that's where I'm gonna call it a night. So just wanted to thank everybody for watching the video today. I hope you were able to uh, get some enjoyment out of it. I do apologize, my uh, lips are having a hard time forming words. It's still a little bit cold out, but uh, yeah, just a huge thank you to everybody who has been supporting what I've been doing out here it really means a lot to me so that last video is doing really well and uh, it's all because of uh, everyone's kindness and support so just uh, again wanted to say a huge thank you uh, it might not mean much you know to to like a video or to uh, to comment or share on it but um, honestly it means the world to me so I just wanted to say a huge thank you for everyone who's been uh, so supportive but um, yeah that's where I'm gonna end it off for tonight everyone so I hope you have a great day and a great night and whatever you get up to uh, take it easy all right everyone take care until next time we'll see you later bye now